Ever since the presidential elections ended, streets of Kampala and neighboring areas, security personnel have been seen patrolling different parts armed with guns and batons. The security agencies that included police, army and prison services are already seen patrolling, leaving most members of the public in fear since they are not used at having them in the same community always. Well, the UPDF spokesperson, Brigadier Flavia Biekwaso, came out to clear the space about the presence of security personnel patrolling the streets across the country. Biakwaso, who was exclusively speaking to Channel 44 TV, confirmed that this is aimed at monitoring and counter-attacking any fears from both local and international threats that could possibly befall on Uganda, as she explains. Security is at a high alert. I think you've seen uh, patrols uh, being conducted. Unfortunately, some sections of the Ugandans do not like this. They do not want to see soldiers moving about, but this is to make sure that we prevent. It's not to intimidate anyone as most people want to put it, but it's to make sure that we prevent any occurrence of violence. We prevent any chaos. We prevent or we keep people and we give them maximum security to make sure they go about their businesses without inter interference, without fear or without danger. Biakwaso, who was calm, also confirmed to Ugandans how the nation is peaceful and will remain in peace as security forces are ready to take up their roles. Uh, hesitation that the security level was almost at 99%. I've left that 1% there because definitely I heard of two, only two incidents where soldiers uh, were suspected to have been involved in, in uh, things to do with elections. In, okay, maybe electoral malpractice. Otherwise, generally speaking, the situation during elections was the situation was calm, and we have seen it even up to today. We are still proud and we are happy that we've been able to deliver Ugandans. We've been able to facilitate the electoral process. We've been able to stabilize the country. We've been able to to help Ugandans or to let Ugandans go through their normal businesses, especially and also the process of choosing their leaders peacefully. She further says the nation had peaceful elections and this was due to the vigilance Ugandans had, but to the trust security agencies had to defend Ugandans during the electoral process. To, to make sure that none of our detractors inside the country or outside the country has been able to, to cause chaos. And we shall continue to do that. And this is a, a, a call to Ugandans, oh, this is to let them know that the security situation in the country is okay. I can see it is, I can see it is at 100%. Let people go and do their work. Let people not listen to, 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 to this very high sounding uh, fears or uh, intimidation from, moreover from people who are not even within the country. They are outside, they are enjoying themselves. For them they get paid. When they say such things, they get paid. But I, 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 I can only encourage Ugandans not to listen to them. Brian Sinkumba, Channel 44 Prime News.